Hello, everyone, and welcome to Madden NFL Football and the Cleveland Browns franchise. I'm Husker Eurocat, welcoming you to First Energy Stadium and today's matchup between the Oakland Raiders and the Cleveland Browns. Oakland has the number four rush offense and number five rush defense in the league. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Browns can overcome and strategize against that rushing attack of the Raiders. Andy Lee is ready for the kickoff and Jeremy Ross is back. And we're underway here in Cleveland. Ross gets the opening kickoff, brings it out, and he's up past the 20 to the 28 yard line. So it's first and 10 Raiders. Derek Carr brings him out in the eye and drops back to pass over the middle and hits Roberts for a first down. Carr drops back again and he is sacked. And he got hit hard on that one. Replay shows Mr. Mingo comes through and hits him hard. So it's second and 15. And Carr sends a man in motion. And takes the snap. Passes left side to Latavius Murray. And he steps out of bounds. So on third and seven, Carr drops back again. And he completes it to Smith over the middle inside the 35 of Cleveland. So now they're at the 32 of Cleveland. They're in the one back set. Carr drops back to pass again. And it's complete to Smith over the left side to the 20 two-yard line. So it's second in inches. Will they be able to make the first down? Carr gives it to Murray and he gets enough for the first down. So it's first and ten just outside the 20-yard line. And Carr drops back, gives it to Murray up the middle. And he's to the 15-yard line. So it's second and five now. Carr drops back to pass, and it's complete inside the 10. And another first down. And now it's third and eight. And they're in the offset eye. Alou doesn't get the first down and they have to kick the field goal Janikowski misses wide right so it's first and ten Browns and there's a quarterback change McCown is now the quarterback Jim Dre gets just a couple up the middle Town drops back, and he floats that one out of bounds. Kind of reminiscent of Manziel in that uh, case. Can he pick up the first down? Town drops back, and he's on the roll, and he passes to Benjamin, and Benjamin is up the right side, almost to the 40-yard line. So now it's third down, and eight yards to go. Can they get the first down? And he completes it to Benjamin over the left side. First down. So it's first and 10 with just over two minutes left in the first quarter. And he completes it to Gabriel over the right side. Another first down. And we're seven plays into this drive. And Johnson gets caught in the backfield. So that's second and 14 now. McCown has him in the offset eye. And drops back to pass. 
and gets it to Barnage over the middle for another first down. So now on second and 10, 34 seconds left in the first quarter, McCowan has them in the offset eye and drops back after some play action and it's a touchdown to Travis Benjamin with some defensive pass interference on top of it. If you can't prevent the touchdown, hold them, right? So they decline the penalty and the fans are happy. And it's seven to nothing, Cleveland. First and 10 Raiders now. With the offset eye, Minerp Murray is in the backfield. And Carr hands it off and he gets up to the 30 yard line. And that's the end of the first quarter with your score seven to nothing, Cleveland. The Raiders will start out the second quarter with a first and 10. Derek hands it off to Murray and he's tackled in the backfield. So it's second and 13 now. They line up in the I formation. And it's a delayed handoff up the middle. Now third and six. It's a handoff to Lou. They're on the right side and he's tackled and they have to punt. So it's first and 10 Browns. McCown hands it off to Johnson and he gets past the 30 yard line. Now on third and five, McCown is in the shotgun. And he passes out of the backfield. Johnson gets to the 40, and it's a first down. First and 10. McCown back in the shotgun again. And passes over the middle to Bo. And now it's second and two. They're in the offset eye with Mostert in backfield. Hands off, and did he get the first down? Oh, we have an injury. Curtis Lofton is hurt. We'll have to find out more about that injury. McCown gets it to Andrew Hawkins over the middle for a first down. So on first and 10, McCown hands off to Johnson. And he gets inside the 35 of the Raiders. So it's second and five. And we have a seven play drive going. McCown throws and it's complete to Brian Hartline across over on the right side. Now on second and nine. Count is back to pass and it's complete to Taylor Gabriel. So it's first and goal from inside the 10 yard line. Count is back to pass and it's complete to Hartline on the right side and he gets to the five yard line. Now on third down, are they gonna be able to punch it in? Johnson gets the touchdown. Browns. 14 to nothing. If we take a look at that pass, what a thing of beauty. Now in first and 10, the Raiders have it at the 25 yard line. And it's complete to Michael Cab Crabtree. So it's first and 10 again. And it's across the middle to Seth Roberts. And that brings us to the two minute warning. So to start out the two minute drive, 
This is a first and 10 for the Raiders. Man gets set in motion. Carr goes back to pass. And it's a fumble. He passed it backwards, folks. And Latavius Murray missed it. And it's recovered by the Browns. So it's first and 10. Browns, McCown with an empty backfield. Overshoots his receiver. And again, with an empty backfield, McCown is back to pass and throws it and overshoots his receiver again. Now on third and 10, he completes it to Travis Benjamin for a first down over the right side. So now on first and 10 with 16 seconds left, Benjamin is inside the 15, complete. So it's first and 10, McCown gets it. They're in the split back formation. He goes back to pass and it's complete to Gary Barnage. Touchdown Browns. That was right on target, everybody. McCown seems to be doing a pretty good job at quarterback. And the fans are happy with it. So that brings us to halftime. With your score, Cleveland 21, Oakland 0. Other than the lopsided score, let's take a look at the halftime stats and we can see why the Browns are leading in this game. If we see their efficiency, it's really good. Taking a look at the red zone trips, three out of three for touchdowns. McCown is 62%, 15 of 24 on passing, no interceptions. But take a look at Derek Carr. He's seven out of seven, perfect in his first half, but it sure isn't showing on the scoreboard. Neither team seems to be able to mount a rushing game, so we'll have to see if they can make some changes at halftime. Let's see what the second half brings. The Browns receive the second half kickoff and have it first and 10 at the 31 yard line. McCown has him in the split back and he goes back to pass and it's complete to Andrew Hawkins at the 45 yard line now second and 13 he hands off to Mostert and he gets to the 50 yard line so it's now third down and eight from the 50 McCown goes back to pass and he fumbles the football and it's recovered by the Raiders that was a nice strip by the Raiders and makes it for first and ten in Cleveland territory so from the 41 car drops back he decides to run and it's a nine yard gain so on third and one, Carr calls his own number again and to the 22 yard line. Now it's second and nine. And he sends a man in motion and sends Latavius Murray up the center for a nine yard gain. Now on third and inches, from the 11 yard line. Lou gets not even a yard, so it's now third and 11. 
and it's a touchdown to Michael Crabtree. Did you see that, folks? That was a ricochet off of Lee Smith and into the hands of Michael Crabtree in the corner of the end zone. Wow, what a touchdown for the Raiders. So it's 21-7. And first and 10 at the 22-yard line. McCown gives it to Johnson, and he's up over the 30-yard line. Now third down, and three. McCown drops back to pass, over the middle to Johnson, and he's out past the 45. Second and nine now. And out of the shotgun. Passes to Taylor Gabriel. And it's just inside Cleveland territory. Now it's third and three. McCown takes it back. And he passes. And the defense. DJ Hayden got his big mitt in there and knocked it away. And fourth and three, and Lee will try to pin them deep in their own territory. And he succeeds at the two-yard line. Now on second and seven, Murray doesn't even get to the five. So it's third and ten. Alawale doesn't get any traction either, so they'll have to punt. So the Browns get it back in just about the same place as they were before. Johnson gets almost 10 yards. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter with the score 21 to seven in favor of the Browns. So on second and inches, the Browns have it. And they're in the I formation. McCown goes back to pass, and it's complete to Bibbs to the 20. Make that the 19 where they marked him. So it's first and 10. McCown hands it to Johnson and gets eight yards. So it's second and two now. And with the graphic, you'll see that it's perfect three for three in the red zone. And Johnson up the left side gets the first down. So they're first and goal. Now on second and goal. Johnson receives the pass, but only is able to get a yard or two. So now on third and goal, McCown goes back to pass, and it's complete to Gary Barnage in the touchdown. If we take a look at that, he bobbled it, and he caught it on the way down. What a spectacular catch after the bobble. So 28-7. First and 10 Raiders. Carr hands it off to Murray, and he gets out past the 40 to the 45 yard line. Nice run. Gives it to Murray again, and he gets about four yards on that try. So it's second and six. Carr's back to pass, calls his own number and gets almost a first down. So it's third down in inches. He's back to pass, and he completes it to Lee Smith over the middle. First and 10. Now second and 10. Carr drops back to pass. Completes it to Michael Crabtree coming across the middle. So now on third down, 
it's complete to Rod Streeter across the middle. First down. Now third and nine at the 19 yard line. It's complete to Rod Streeter. And they gave him a first down. So it's inside the 10, first and goal. And Derek Carr carries it for a few. Touchdown, Seth Roberts. That was a nice pass, everybody. Oh, and they try an onside kick. And the Browns weren't ready for it, but Brandon Spikes picks it up anyway. So at the 48-yard line, it's first and 10 Browns. McCown hands off to Crowell. And he's out of bounds. I don't think he meant to go out of bounds on that one. So second and three, Johnson goes up the middle and gets the first down. Now at the 41, Johnson, wow, what a run over the left side. Down to about the 25, which brings us to the two minute warning. Now all they have to do is run out the clock. McCown gives it to Dre, and he fumbles. And it's picked up by the Raiders. So now it's first and 10, 28-14. Crabtree gets it over the left side. And he's up past the 40 yard line. First and 10, Carr goes back to pass again, and it's complete to Lee Smith to the 40. Make that the 41 of Cleveland. Carr's back to pass again, runs the ball, and fumbles it himself. And it's picked up by Tremont Williams. Can Cleveland run out the clock this time? Cowboy, 72. Well, McCown changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Audible's into a counter to the left side. And gets, Johnson gets eight yards out of it. So it's now second and two with a minute and 18 seconds left. And he gets two yards. So there's third and inches to go. And Curl can't get the first down. So they have to punt the ball. What are the Raiders gonna be able to do with it? Absolutely nothing. So it's first and 10 Raiders at the 11 yard line. And he completes it to Smith over the left side with 21 seconds and ticking, and they take a timeout. So with 19 seconds left, Carr drops back to pass, and he is sacked by Danny Shelton. And they're in the hurry up, because they only have eight seconds left. And he goes long. And it's incomplete. So with one second left, Derek Carr goes back to pass, and he's sacked again by Danny Shelton. And that ends the game, everybody. With your score, 28 to 14 in favor of the Cleveland Browns. Taking a look at the game stats, why the Raiders had a much better second half than they had the first half. But ladies and gentlemen, what a difference a change in quarterback can make. 
Josh McCown was perfect at four out of four in the red zone and four touch passing touchdowns. Although he was only 65% on his passing completion percentage, why he did an awesome job. Time will tell if he can continue this success, but at 36 years of age, he's not a long-term solution to the quarterback problems here at Cleveland. It would seem that his accuracy in ball placement seemed to be on target because the receivers did not have any drops today like they had against the Titans a week ago. The offensive line did an awesome job of protecting McCown as well. I thought the defense did a wonderful job against Derek Carr and the Raider offense, but it's going to be hard to replace Carlos Dansby when he gets ready for retirement because he is a force to be reckoned with. Brandon Spikes may be able to step into his role, but that will remain to be seen as well. Now it's time to look forward to our next game in which the Browns will be traveling to San Diego to take on the Chargers in Qualcomm Stadium. On paper, they seem to be pretty well matched with the Browns, but then again, that's why they play the games because we don't know what's going to happen until they actually play. They do have seasoned veteran Philip Rivers, which if he has a good game, watch out. And they have a good core of wide receivers, Keenan Allen, Stevie Johnson, Malcolm Floyd, and Antonio Gates as their tight end. I'm worried about Kendall Reyes and Corey Legit, a tandem that should be formidable when it comes to their pass rush. And with Eric Weddle at free safety, they should have a outstanding secondary as well. All the fans are excited about Josh McCown and his four touchdown passes versus the Raiders this week. And we'll look to see if he can continue that success in our next game. We thank you for joining us for this week's game against the Raiders and we welcome you to join us for the Chargers as we travel to Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, California. Until then, thank you for joining us and we'll see you then. Have a good day, everyone.